It's our all-American right to protest, but when you have to literally pretend to be handcuffed and arrested when you clearly have not been handcuffed and arrested, it's a little much. And I have some final thoughts. The right to protest and peaceably assemble is our constitutional right, but when you're so thirsty for attention, you have to pretend to be handcuffed for effect when it's abundantly obvious you're not actually in handcuffs? Well, that doesn't make you a noble and virtuous American protester. It makes you a jackass. Look, I get it. The left, and particularly those on the left who lack substance of any kind, need to rely on abortion and abortion protests to make their constituents think they're really doing something to fight the good fight. But AOC and squad take performative nonsense to a new level with this display, and it's embarrassing for them and anyone who had to watch it. Was she escorted away for blocking traffic? Yeah, sure. Did she know it wasn't within her rights as a protester to block said traffic? Of course. Is that the whole reason she did it? Yeah, absolutely. freaking lutely but does she think her fans, followers, and advocates are that dumb they don't notice her handcuffs are 100% imaginary? Law enforcement and Capitol Police have enough on their plate in this current political climate without Instagram influencer wannabes like AOC strutting around trying to put on a show. It's pretty telling, though, that she and those like her have to try so damn hard to be controversial, even if it means literally making things up. Furthermore, if she is, and it really appears she is, trying to evoke the emotions and images of the civil rights movement, what a slap in the face of those who are actually handcuffed and brutalized for their true and righteous protests. But this? This is a farce for attention and social media likes and validation. And what's worse, some of the media are perpetuating her fake handcuffing as if it happened. Boy, you think that's why we don't have a lot of faith in much of the mainstream media? Because they bend even the truth we can see with our own freaking eyes? This takes shaping a narrative to a new level. Do you all think we can't see or that we're just dumb? I've said it before and I'll say it again. If AOC wants to be a social media influencer and make money off hawking cheap products and messages for a price and a rev share, she should do that. But stay the hell away from the halls of Congress where legislative action or inaction actually affects lives. We see you, AOC, and not only are you not handcuffed, you're not some messiah for your movement or any movement. You're an actress and not even a good one. Hashtag ad should be your call sign, not U.S. Congresswoman. And those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care.